Hello everyone, welcome back to another Turbo Cop Caster Day, and whoa, that's really loud, really, really loud. Okay, turn down here. I think we're good now. Okay, so welcome back to another Turbo Cop Caster Day, and today we're finally moving on to the Badwater games. We've got a Suspiciously Shaped Banana, a 4-3 uh, team over four in Gold League right now, versus a 3-4 team, the Barking Sharks, uh, also known as Team Bark. They're over on the right with the super sub, uh, super sub uh, bark on the side on the side of their names, so let's see, let's make some calls out. On Heavy we have Roman Anderson uh, for Team Bark, DRP is the Sniper, Rental is the Engineer, Phone is the Spy, Speedo Simone is the Scout, Trike is the Soldier, Spooky Spitfire is the Pyro, Little Roman is the Demo Man, and Twine is the Medic. Looks like we got a standard setup here for Suspiciously Shaped Banana with a Sentry Gun on the, on the stairway platform over here. Not quite on it, a little bit to the right, gonna get a little bit more coverage over there. And we'll have to see, I haven't casted a Badwater game in a little while, so we'll have to see how this plays out. Maybe these gold teams will have something really uh, in store for us. Just going to start off with some spam down the left entrance, the left exit way. They're going to put down a teleporter immediately, is that interesting? It looks like here comes the bomb for the demo man. Going forward, nope, getting denied immediately. Oh, it does force a pop out though, so definitely worth the bomb out there for little Roman out there. And uh, let's go through the SSB team right now. So there's Pun on the medic. Uh, what's your deal? Want a hug on the spy? Uh, frog on the heavy? Huli on the demo man, uh, TN Oxy uh, on the sniper, Game Master as the engineer, Flintstone as the pyro, and Star Knight as the soldier. So far, not too many points coming out for either team. Looks like they're halfway through the tunnel so far, and uh, the first point very easy to capture, notoriously easy. And here comes the here comes the Uber. There's no uh, support up here. This uh, sentry gun should go down. Oh, demo man almost ended up going down during that, but he didn't. And soldier comes in with the bomb. He gets a nice little two shot there. So. Clean up on the medic and definitely what they needed right there. Now it's going to give Pun up to about a huge uber advantage real quick. And uh, this uh, soldier, what's his name? Star Knight. Star Knight running out of the black box to stay alive and also the uh, the conch, uh, which is like a buff banner. But uh, once you get the the charge, you go fast and you also heal. So you get two little effects now, making it, I think, the best backpack in the game so far. Actually winning out the sniper battle right there and uh, trying to move forward here. In fact, uh, losing the sentry gun hasn't uh, pushed the cart uh, forward quite yet. So, so far, a good holdout from uh, suspiciously shaped banana. Uh, we got a heavy from this rock, though. Gonna have a really good position. And some nice milk only on the medic so far. We got a spy coming around, but uh, Pyro catches him out, no problem. And a pop comes through. Uh, I'm not sure if they just had to pop there, but medic was lit. And uh, there's no uh, uber for the other team so far. And here comes a nice demo man jump with the nice uh, melee melee hit there. Gets, gets a great uh, pick on the medic. Good assassination for sure. So that puts SSB in a very commanding lead so far. Uh, finally, we got a vanguarding mini sentry. I would have liked to have seen that in a better spot earlier to stop these kinds of jumps and such. And uh, we got the other uh, soldier over here. What's his name? Uh, Trike running the direct hit in fact. Gets a nice little shot and then finishes up with a shotgun. That's what you got to do in these pressure situations. So it trades off of the pyro, not the trade he wanted, but. Uh, Direct hit is just here to do some sniping on the sentry gun, and it is a very long sight line, so I could see why you'd want to use it. Doman going forward, gets a little bit of spam on the medic, and now with the heavy is deep linked, and he gets cleaned up by the soldier, so SS SSB, uh, ooh, losing their medic finally, so now there's only three up, but the soldier's doing everything he can to stay alive. It's all up to him. Nope, he goes down. So only three up. We'll see if anyone takes this teleport over here. I doubt, I doubt anyone will, but let's find out. Spy does. Oh, nice shot by Oxy coming, for, coming through, and they finally capture this point out here. Oxy just sitting in the back, this is a very standard sniper spot. Uh, scout vanguarding forward a little bit, uh, not able to get anyone on that, so... Uh, they're switched off to a... Is that a quick fix? No, that's just a bunch of random stuff. He's still on Uber. And Twi uh, Twine has his Uber ready to go. No one coming around the backside, but everyone's going up the top here. Uh, we got the Demo Man, Heavy, Pyro, and the Medic. There's no Uber up here, or there's no Sentry Gun up here. I think they were expecting it, but it wasn't there. Uh, not quite able to kill anyone off of that quite yet. Losing Hooli though, so that's good. Uh, engineer going forward, he's running the uh, Frontier Justice, and they control the top here, no problem. Medic and Heavy are kind of stuck in the in the uh, tunnel right now, but I don't think they know they're there quite yet. No one's going for him quite yet, uh, but they still control the roof, and that's definitely what you need to control once you need to get this point, but you also need to start pushing the part. Okay, Heavy cleans up, they traded a, a, a scout for it, but it's totally worth it, a scout for a Medic and a Heavy. They have a very big uber advantage again, well... They actually just popped a while ago, and Twine hasn't done the best job building. They're finally able to control the uh, the entrance here. Now that there are sticks here, there's just absolutely zero way that anyone's getting bored on it. We got a spy in the back, but where's everyone else? I think they're setting up... Uh... Oh, they have a sentry gun back here. This is a nice spot. Very hard to spam out if you're not a demo man. Uh, soldiers have a hard time hitting that. It's kind of a small area. 
Uh, you have a nice little uh, window of opportunity to attack through here, and uh, looks like uh, Team Bark, they will get the house. They have the left side as well. Um, let's go to someone's cam. Twine's again 70s, going with his demo man forward. Uh, you can play very safe as a, as a medic on this map. It's very hard to, to pick a medic most of the time, uh, unless you're into a weird situation, which of course, uh, you, of course you can go down. But uh, Twine right here, just sitting back wait, waiting for the 100%. Doesn't quite have it, and now they go forward. Um, they're pushing forward. Their spy is in position. It just looks like it's just them. Heavy coming up from behind, and so is Pyro. They haven't got anything quite yet, but they're getting lots of picks out over there. They uh, got a nice little domain spam into, into them, but there's still a sentry gun. A uh, sentry gun getting spammed out by minis right now. Um, ooh, nice little uh, counter pop out there. Getting, this, getting the, the heavy with the spy. Uh, soldier gonna bomb in right here. Going for the pick. One, two, gets it. Nice job. Tactical, surgical, uh, precision uh, shots there, and that's what absolutely what you gotta do as a soldier. Just bomb in, get the pick. Bomb in, get the pick. Little Roman uh, trying to make something happen, but I don't think he expected the demo man to be right in his face there. Say he's just gonna back out, uh, gonna regroup. They did lose their medic. Um, Twine's gonna, gonna walk the whole way here, and all of a sudden, this is where things start looking bad. You, you don't have your teleporter up quite yet, and your medic's gonna walk the whole distance. Now, where is that teleporter, by the way? Oh, it's kinda here. That's kind of not. It's a little bit farther back than where you would expect it to be, but I guess it would be a little bit more difficult for a spy to get it, but he's not even near there, so we'll see. Spy not picking any pick happen. Instead, we're uh, getting a few picks off here, bleeding out a little bit over here for Team Bark. Uh, Doman going to go below. Let's see what he wants to do over here. Putting out some spam. Just uh, Everyone's just poking so far, but uh, Scout controls the right flank, crucially. Uh, they're coming through it now, trying to reestablish it. And here comes a crits creek. One kill, two kill, three kill, four kill. Fine going down as well, and that's absolutely what you have to do as a as a crit squeak right there. You have to catch them by surprise, and I didn't I didn't see it coming. I wonder if they knew. Spooky Pitfire, ooh, getting bled out there. Uh, they're trying to move them back out of the left side here, and uh, wow, not quite able to do it. They're losing lots of players too, despite the heavy being there. This is a good good spam play so far coming out. Star Knight, you know, making his weight in gold. Wow, what's his score like? It's about ten points, about half of the medic. That's reasonable. Getting off track there for another point right now. And uh, yeah, you know, SSB, they have less points, but I think that they're doing much better. Um, Roman Anderson making a ton of points, but a lot of those are just capping points, so. Would you like to have the heavy there to cap? Uh, this is probably the safest guy to go cap with. If he doesn't give you the most, like a scout would, he doesn't give you the two times. That's unfortunate, but uh, Star Knight's got a really good angle just to spam here. He's spamming out uh, everyone he possibly can, and uh, doing his best to avoid these rockets here. Uh, scout comes in, he might be able to finish him off. But with the black box, 15%. Uh, Does he have a charge yet is the question. No, he's going to jump back out. And we have a crits going on right now. I missed all of And, uh, ooh, looks overextending a little bit. Not expecting the heavy to be there. Oh, Spy comes in and gets him off anyway. So 3 for 3 trade there. But crucially, uh, you lost pun there. So no medic. Uh, this will be a fairly big uber badge. Unless the scout pops right out of here. He forces a pop out. Good job, scout. He even gets away. What a play. What a playmaker, scout. So this is going to force a really, a really uh, early uh, pop out here. I don't think, oh, I mean the pyro is sitting here uh, blasting back the sticks. They still have this level 3 sentry gun position. No one has come in and, and uh, dissolved it at all, at all. So, like, they're still going to be delayed on this third point. And so far, this is just looking like a great defense from SSV here. Good job, suspiciously shaped mana. We'll see if, oh, me even Bark uh, getting uh, headshotted there by What's Your Deal. Spy is doing tons of work this game for them, my goodness. Having as many points as the soldier, more points than the uh, scout even. Finally going down in the end. Hooli uh, is in here putting some spam down. Now it's going to be very hard to push this card in. Oh, they took out the sentry gun finally. I missed it, but uh, they're they're going to soup up over the card over here. Uh, they're they're sitting below below the sea fortress. This uh, scout should get out of. Oh, well, scout 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 v scout battle. Not going to win out. He was a little bit too low there. So, what is his name? Destruct. Destruction. R.I.P. Good name. Destruction going down there, but it's all right. Uh, losing another player there, so you're down two. This could be the opportunity that Twine needs, but he doesn't have an Uber yet. He's okay. Here comes a pop in. It's a crit or what? This is a, a weird pop. It's not really getting them anything. Doman trying to go forward with that crit. I'm not sure why they popped there. It seems like a mistake from SSB there. Uh, I wonder if they were forced out, but you know, Hun, he's at like 100-ish HP. Maybe it could have. Maybe it was at 50 and just really didn't want to drop it. So it's a little bit of a cautious play there, but uh, they should, you know, the nice thing is that, you know, crits build really fast, so they'll be up with the crits about the time that an Uber comes, maybe a little bit later. So if you can still kill a bunch of people while the Uber is going through, things will be going good. But now nah, uh, DRP doing lots of work here, uh, killing lots of people. They're down three. 
Uh, this should be the cart now, although, you know, they're doing the best to put down the spam. Oh, Huli finally getting cleaned up by the scout in the back end, and Pyro is totally stuck out of position. No, it looks like he wants to escape. He's running a back burner. That's a back burner Pyro. Back burner Pyro and gold, ladies and gentlemen. You saw it here first. Oh, gets cleaned up by the reserve shooter. Uh, not quite able to do much there. And Pun going down as well, so we're only half up. This could be a very fast roll into last, though. Last is a very nice place to hold, but if you lose your if you lose your basin, then of the of the bad water basin, then things start looking real bad. Shotgun shots going out. Nice little air shots onto that dome in there. How often do you see that, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, heavy just controlling the bottom here. Uh, so we have a soldier in flag room, not gonna be able to do much, but they pop in immediately. Soldier gonna try and like engage on the other soldier here. Soldier battles overall, but it's only a medic and soldier alive. Oh, and the medic goes down too. What's he even doing outside? There's no reason for it. This is just gonna be a very fast fourth point here. And that's really gonna keep Bart in the game, and it even might give him the advantage here. Let's see, it's uh, 947. It's a little bit better than average, I would, to be honest. Um, you really wanna shoot for like an eight minute cap time, but. You know, 9.47, not so bad. It's a little bit under 10, and uh, I think 10 is about the average you would be looking at. Especially at high levels where, defen where defenses are really, really good. Well, I, you know, I take that back. So when, when you get in the high level, offenses, like pushing uh, aggressively and, and pushing in and controlling an area aggressively, uh, it becomes a lot better than just controlling an area that you would see with a defense. So, uh, Bark, um... They got stalled on the third point, but my goodness, did they push through their momentum with the fourth. Uh, SSB holding out the third very well, but wasn't able to back out of it correctly and uh, keep their sentry gun up, keep uh, their heavy up. If they had been able to keep up those two classes and put and maybe the demo as well, and put down the spam around death corner. Uh, death corner is the one corner you have to turn at the last point before you get the big open area of the basin. If you can like control down death corner, you can really buy yourself a lot of time and uh, even force uh, the cart to go back there and uh, get a lot of time doing that. But they weren't able to, they just got rolled over in the end. I like, uh, Bark has a different sentry gun position. This is safer against a demo man bomb, but uh, it'll even watch this cart area a little bit better. But uh, from below, it's very easy to spam out. Uh, and it also doesn't give you quite as much coverage up front here, but you do have a regular. Oxy going down in the first sniper battle. Where is that sniper, sniper, sniper from? Over there, and uh, the bomb comes in, but a uh, nice little uh, uber control there, or uh, wrangle control. Here comes another one. Will the wrangle control go? The dome in season says, oh, I don't want to go for that. So, poking through, uh, losing two players there, losing Flintstone to some snipes, and uh, looks like we got the heavy over here getting controlled out. Uh, gets spammed out. Uh, good soldier and, and scout play coming through. Soldier comes through, he gets the engineer. He gets the scout too. Will he get the soldier? Nope. So, a nice little 2k there. Stopping the cart from going forward, only it's, it's only going to be the soldier pushing out. Oh, now, they, now they do have a mini below, that could be a problem, but no, heavy drops down, stops the cart. No more cart presence for a while. Uh, let's see how this sniper battle goes over here. Someone's going to die, I can guarantee you that. Oh, no one win winning the first shots. Jurati not hitting, and there we go, DRP making the shot. DRP making a few more of the shots than uh, against Oxy, or at least certainly at the beginning of this round. He's gotten a, a two streak on him at least. And uh, this uh, sentry gun is hurt, I wonder where the engineer is. Uh, oh, it gets spammed out by a soldier. Where was the engineer? Did he just back off already? I think, I mean, I think they can. I think they can afford to. They're losing the hill here. Heavy's up forward on the hill. Soldier's forward. The medic hasn't even shown himself yet. He's still in the back, uh, waiting around with his heavy or something. No, not heavy, uh, like demo man or something. But they control the hill now. Uh, they're pushing everyone back. And, uh, Bark, I think, is more than happy to give this up. They want a sentry gun on the roof. They want to try and force out an early pop from Pun here. But Pun is, uh, no, knows that and hasn't shown himself quite yet. They don't have no idea where the medic is. I wonder why they don't have a spy that. Oh, well, Phone went down, so. Phone, the spy for Team Bark, not here. Uh, if, he, if he was here, they could have uh, committed to a bomb of some sort. But he was dead, unfortunately. So they're going to go below, actually. Heavy's got a really good angle on this right now. Uh, forces them back. Soldier uh, jumps up. Not quite able to get anything. Here comes the Uber uh, pop through. And they're just holding on to this as long as possible. Oh, Heavy dropped down. He really didn't want to, but, uh,. Pyro comes up here, he's running the back burner, that's really, no, he's just running uh, Decreaser now. Soldier comes from the back end, oh my goodness, slaughter, 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 slaughter. With the sentry gun as well, the demo man's out of position, he's just running a, a sticky jumper though, he wants the, oh he gets the medic pick. Uh, it's so frustrating to deal with the with a sticky jumping uh, caber demo man, it, just one hit and you're dead. And Twine going down there unfortunately, uh, they really need to keep him up there. They, that really could have rolled them into a, a very good second point hold here, but as it stands right now, it's uh, back to square one for them as far as I'm concerned. Now, they do have a level three sentry gun watching the cart, which is really nice. Uh, soldier in the back, this is pretty standard. The spy's back here too, though. I wonder why he's not moving forward quite yet. Sniper back here too. Oh, sniper doesn't know the spy is, uh, is a spy. 
and with like five of your people now six and, and a seventh in the back and your and your spy in the back nobody is playing the nobody is playing on the corners everyone is playing on the black on the back side here the sniper tried is the only one watching the corridor trying to make a snipe but the scout is there to stop it and uh soldier comes through on the back side looks like they're going to be able to pincer through medic is not showing though and i think that's good uh no soldiers going going uh soldier trades out there so two down right now no phone oh speedo going down as well to uh to some soldier play so you're losing your players but your core is still alive Ooh, not with the soldier going down here comes the pop through finally uh you don't have your uber yet as twine and uh here comes the cleanup pyro comes through he's just focusing on the sentry gun and the engineer as well now they control the roof uh but that took a good through oh nice shot by the, by the sniper there just immediately trying to get him as he comes out and that's gonna give them the momentum they need they might even get a, a fast third point here which is absolutely what ssb needs right now um can let the engineer get set up although he is right now trika is falling back behind he's running a normal shotgun oh rental going down there's only gonna have a level one sentry gun when they push up here i'm not even sure i can see people shooting from here now he doesn't see the heavy but he's not really in range so we'll have to see once they get closer soldier up uh, catches out that soldier so i guess it can see Hun going down though uh, in the back end, and I'm, I didn't quite catch uh, who from. So it looks like the engineer will have time to be rebuild back up. This is a really good stuff right now. The combo is below. Soldiers above, ready to jump over any second now. And yeah, Pyro controlling the left flank. Demo man watching the gulch. Heavy on the other side. Soldier on the right, ready to bomb in any second. Snipe, uh, giving him cover for a sniper and. Uh, Comes back over to the mid, trying to get a ooh, nice little reflect by the pyro there, but it's not gonna give them too much deeps. Doman spam coming through. Oh, nice little shot right on the sniper. But uh, this is still level two. Okay, it's finally level three. This should stop the scout from going forward. They can do a lot of they can do a lot of a lot of damage here. They're all stuck in the corner too, so SSB in a really precarious spot right now. They could get bombed in. And here comes the demo man, and they're all stuck in a corner over here. Will he get the medic? Oh, get stuck on the top of the roof. Will he still get him? No, not quite yet. Wow, very, very clutch escape from Pun there. Losing four players, but not losing Pun, which is real good. Uh, this little railing right here stopped the demo man from getting his medic kill. But now he's going to bomb forward, and the medic's all on his own. Oh, he could have popped. He drops instead. And ouch, little Roman making up for it earlier. And uh, yeah, why now, now at a 50% advantage. So this is this third point hold working out well for them. Bark. Only have to hold for 420 more for the two for the two longest points in the game. Uh, so far, things are looking up, Bark. I would say it's going to be very, very difficult for SSB. They have to get a perfect engagement here, but they have to worry about a, an Uber coming through from Twine again, which can be popped aggressively or defensively. Depends on if you show your medic and Gulch or not. And right, like right now, the heavy could drop down and pick him off. If you know he's there, but uh, I don't think he does quite yet. They're just waiting. Oh, gets Jurati too, so really want to back out now. Oh, gets off Huli though, so. And the, and the scout going down as well. So, three down right now. Maybe that's uh, Twine's uh, move to move forward here, but we'll see. Instead, uh, everyone's grouping up house side for blue, and Demo Man comes forward, puts down some good spam. Nice spam coming. Oh, Pyro might catch him out. Nice little axe English play. Good job, Flintstones. The so little Roman uh, getting a little bit aggressive there, didn't catch the Pyro coming forward. And uh, the Scar Knight going down though, unfortunately. He really wanted to get a bomb in on the left side or something, but this heavy medic core on the on the railing here, just too much. Heavy going forward, trying to do some damage, and he does survive. Oh, not quite. Took some mini damage and that, and that finished him off. Here comes the pop through finally uh, for Pun. Going on with Huli, and uh, here comes a, sta a, a synchronized uh, staff as well. So that's gonna stop any kind of uh, sentry play. Rental is down as well, but here comes a counter pop. Four down right now. Oh, medic. Uh, the counter pop didn't go as long as I thought it would, but uh, only only half up right now. Demo man's still alive though. Soldier can do a good bomb, and he's gonna bomb right in. He's oh, gets an air shot by the little roadman. I almost missed it. Okay, here comes a oh pyro. Double stab from phone there, saving the saving the point for them. This this heavy might be able to push it in now, but oh, he just gets it even with the double stab. And no, no triple stab for phone right there. Gets us gets sniped in the back end though. What are you doing back there, sniper? Now the forward spawn comes forward with the for the blue team right now. So SSB two and a half minutes, very very tough to get the last point here in two and a half minutes. Depends on if if uh, Rental can get a sentry gun up, and my goodness, it's already level two back here. Uh, that's gonna really make things difficult. Winning the sniper battle, that's good. Oh, actually, it was just a it was a nice ambi shot from what's your deal here. Spy plays have been huge, phenomenally huge this game so far. Scout on the backside trying to make some sort of play happen. 
just pushing the cart. They're getting around Death Corner without much spam coming from them, so that that part of the gauntlet has gone well so far. But the basin, the basin is what they have to worry about. Once they get the cart down to here, how do they push this cart on the backside without getting spammed out? That's where they have to push them because of the sentry guns. And uh, we got a soldier in flag room. Soldier in flag room is a very standard position, but uh, we got a, a blue soldier in the back, and he wants to go below. I'm so glad I have glow effect, glow effects enabled. Oh, losing out destruction there, so no no pushing for a while. Scout isn't super important for this last basin push though, because it's really hard to get in. And here we go from below, and the soldier wants to go too. Oh, pyro uh, immediate counter pops comes through. Who's flashing who though? A little bit of flashes, but you first blood goes out for blue for red there. Demo man going down, and the heavy going down too. Pyro is trying to move forward. Uh, they do take the sentry gun, spy in the back and uh, making the plays happen. But this medic way overextended. He should have left a long time ago, and that's going to give uh, Twine a very big advantage going forward here. <clears throat> about mm, I'd say about a 50% advantage once uh, Hun starts uh, healing again. Yep, 50% advantage. So uh, your pop was good, but you need the flashing wasn't quite there. Um, you pop into them, so you're gonna have a worse uber. The the sin the spy uh, the spy uh, like simul sap there was was there and it was ready to go. Um, you gotta make like a pick or two happen beforehand. We got a soldier uh, still in flag room. He could just pop out and try and go for a, a medic or something. But uh, spy and soldier here, they're not gonna be able to do anything as they move uh, forward here on the mid side. Two people out of position here. Uh, they're running crits now. They know they they're like out of time. Uh, here comes the pop through. 20 seconds remaining. I don't think there's enough time to push this. Yeah, Heavy goes down, uh, Soldier goes down, Snipes gets cleaned up as well. You, you want to get on the cart, but you absolutely can't because there's a Heavy right in your way. And that's like, what, a 6k right there for that Heavy? Jesus. 10 seconds remaining. I think that's going to be the round. Good job, Bark, winning out the first round here. <coughs> and that all came from Bark. Uh, just getting a phenomenal final push out there. Uh, so first round goes to Bark. I'll be right back for the second round. And here we are, back for round two. So Bark took the first round, if you missed it out. Uh, so here we are for his uh, suspiciously shaped banana. Gonna attack for the first round here. Bark uh, doing a really good hold. Um, honestly, I feel like if they had more time, like SSB was careening towards like an 11, maybe 12 point cap time, which is a pretty low cap time. So SSB needs to work on their offense uh, a little bit. They got uh, held up at the second point uh, really, really well from Bark there, and uh, the third point as well. <laughs> Twine not able to heal anyone up quite yet. Uh, this engineer's like way late, I'm not sure. He's only have 30 seconds to build up. This sentry gun's gonna be delayed. I don't know why why he's why he's like late. Did they build like a teleporter or something? Uh, I don't know. Um, looks like everyone else is gonna have enough time to get out here though. Uh, that engineer really needs to be farther forward though. I think he's not even gonna have a level three ready to get, what? He's like wasting time. Uh, in 10 seconds. There won't be a level three uh, ready to go out here immediately, Five, but four, there won't even be a dispenser three, either. And the dispenser is nice to have. It's a, it's a really nice goodie. Uh, we'll get. We'll take a little bit of the pressure off the medic there. So just some spam from the middle, and uh, blue team really fans out here. They got a head. They got a flanking heavy going by himself. Medic and demo just sitting in the spawn. Medic doesn't want to show yet. Spy watching, looking for the Ooh, good little air shot on the demo man there. His uh, bomb did not go through. That bomb will be delayed, and so it will let them get up a level 3 sentry gun here. Let's see if they want to build up a tele uh, a dispenser or something, too. Opting not to build a dispenser, though. Okay, here comes the demo man spam. Doing the jump across. Uh, oh, hits the medic. Wow. Coolie twine, like, not even getting his uh, pop off there. That's a drop for that medic. Uh, losing a frog as well. Losing frog from the snipe. So we're going to delay a little bit of a push, but... No medic coming out here, and that's going to be a really fast cap time for SSB here. So, really good bomb in from Huli, making it work after the first one didn't happen for him. Hmm. Oops. So, losing uh, losing players on the cart, but you have a very big Uber advantage right now. I'm pretty sure. Oh, they popped through here. This is strange. They picked off a, a scout. I think the scout forced the pop out. So, good job, scout uh, forcing the pop. Dip, uh, soldier gonna jump away. Oh, didn't have enough health though. Died to a crater. And uh, we'll push it in. So very good first cap time here, uh, 71 seconds. Not bad at all. Oh, he even gets the spam out. The uh, engineer wasn't able to save his uh, sentry gun, so they're just gonna push down the corridor side. They got a soldier in the back end. Will he make the pop out? He does. Medic goes into the corner where he can get splashed against, and ah, goes down. Pyro not able to control quite what he wanted to. So tw two medic drops, uh, and just as many, in like just as many minutes almost. And wow. 194 second point cap time. They are just rolling this game. SSB charging ahead this game. 
Only three up right now, one in the back. We got a sentry in the back, but that can easily be cleaned up on the backside. Uh, so the engineer out of position now. Uh, so they have a sentry gun up there, not gonna be able to do anything though, and finally goes down. Stacking the cart, okay, we got a vanguarding heavy meta. Oh, meta can't go down though. Ooh, 25 HP, staying alive. <laughs> Hitting a bonk on, a, who was that? The scout or something? Oh, SS, or soldier? Uh, Hun going down finally, I think it was to a spy in the back. So, ooh, da uh, damage everywhere, but man, you're in a really good spot right now if you're SSB. That first, those first two caps are really working out, and uh, Dillman not able to make that bomb happen on the medic. He needed it, but Twine will be about 50% up on uh, Uber Advantage right here. That will buy them some time that they desperately, desperately need now. But, because, wow, Bark is really behind now. So we got Star Knight switching back over to to uh, Black Box, but not making anything happen, and, oh! Getting picked off by the sniper, DRP saving his team another uh, engagement there. And Twine, uh, super uber advantage coming out for him. Heavy going forward, not, not able to make the medic pop. Medic's at 100, he's gonna be just fine. Spy below, so should clean him up, and they do. So all pretty much all of your bombing classes. Uh, the only one that can really kill right now is the snipes, and the snipes does get the other snipes, so Oxy uh, taking out DRP there. DRP doing good, for, doing good work for his team so far. Uh, then they're only really only saving grace so far. Uh, Pun way far behind in Uber now. He's gonna be another minute and a half before he's able to get up. But still, that's gonna be like a five minute cap time for three points, and things all of a sudden look really really bad. Uh, could lead to it, give them a very lackadaisical push into it for an average time, where they can push really quick. Oh, Twine dropping again. That's the third drop. Well, second drop, but third death for him this round. And my goodness, losing everyone. All of your core is dead. Uh, pyro, only the pyro. Spy engineer stuff. Engineer, uh, not even in the most conservative sentry gun spot. That's going to be a roll over here. 338 for three points. There, things are really not looking good right now. Only half up right now for uh, for uh, Bark over here, and oh, they are they are in they are in a world of trouble right now. They're going to get they're going to pass death corner just fine, no problem. And they're all set up here on the platform, ready to go forward. They pop, uh, medic forced out of pop here, uh, gonna drop below, um, soldier comes into the clean bomb, and will he get the medic? He does get the medic, so even still gonna have an uber advantage as soon as the medic can get out here. Uh, sniper chasing him down, I think he's gonna be alright though, everyone's cleaning up over here, oh, only little Roman up, uh, he should be able to do something up here, sniper finds him out finally, will he get the snipe off? A uh, soldier comes in, uh, gonna be able to clean up here, Py he gets the pyro instead, uh, demo man, only one alive, and everyone else, four people up, 424 for four points, that's incredible. What an incredible time coming out there for SSB. Just destroying, destroying uh, Bark there. <laughs> 420. Damn it, no we for me. No! Can't talk about drugs on the stream, people. Can't talk about it, I won't allow it. Wow, SSB taking it to the bank this time. You know, uh, losing your meta, like, Pressure's on Twine, really. Twine dropped twice there to to the demo man and just couldn't wanted to hold longer, I think, or something. But things just didn't work out that way. And this is not a terribly difficult med medic map. But you gotta watch out for those demo man bombs. Those are probably your your biggest concern. Like getting the medic, like uh, pun, like dying out to uh, dying out to like a sniper hit will happen. That's just something you know that you gotta accept as a loss, and that'll happen a lot in most games. But losing down to the demo man when you have Uber is just—it's uh, almost unacceptable. I, I, I want to say, it's just really hard to deal with. Now, uh, SSB—they will have a, a sentry gun. Oh, losing out phone immediately! Wow. Or no, it was just a—it was just a DR play. My bad. So soldier on the right side, not making anything happen. We got a nice little sticky trap on the cliff side here. Oxy winning out uh, against on the sniper battle there. No sniper belt. Oh, losing out phone. So Spy taking out Spy there. They pop early, and in fact, they have a pop below. This is a really aggressive below pop, but they have to do it. They're so far behind in time. Not able to push forward, though. Heavy gonna come forward. Gonna put down lots of deeps onto the card here. Take out the sentry gun as well. Uh, no one's going down quite yet, and in fact, uh, they lost a few people as the speed did back there. They're, they're down. They're only seven up right now. So, okay, taking out the demo man, that's really gonna give you a lot. And then the pyro falls afterwards, just a little bit too uh, far down. And the engineer just can't stand up against the full might of this heavy demo. Medic trifecta. Okay, medic heavy going back upside, but Pyro uh, able to control out. He's got the dispenser back here. Uh, Medic's finally back up on the top here, and they're just like reset up in position. And it's been a whole minute already, uh, and Barky's way behind, way, way, way behind. Um, you know, if I was a, uh, if I was SSB right now, once the like 
once the two and a half, two minute mark comes, I would just take my sentry gun, pack up, get set up for a second point. Uh, let them have the point as they want it. And, uh, okay, they're gonna pop through. Uh, there's no Uber right now, for, uh, but the Heavy can't really chase quite yet. Dillman wants to bomb forward, and he will bomb forward. Here we go. Oh, not quite able to catch up the pick, though. It's only gonna be a Dillman here. Oh, with the Pyro, too. And will they get the Medic? Medic's solely in the air. Oh, finally goes down there. Could not, did not, uh, able to surf through that as he wanted to. Uh, Pyro's still controlling the Sentry Gun. There's, the Sentry Gun is still up. There's no Uber to, to handle it, either. And the Sniper still watching that main flank area. Uh, Dillman too far away. Soldier in the back end with the engineer. I think this will be the back end cap for them. Ooh, Pyro Scout going down. Okay, they will get the back end cap back here with their uh, flanking glasses, with their supporting glasses. Uh, a lot of people going down too for SSV, but two and a half minutes for three points. I just not. I'm just not sure it's possible. They're gonna move forward. Dillman is way, way on his own. He will go down. They will have a spy going forward, and uh, that'll be a very fast uh, second point cap time. But you still only have two minutes. Um, it depends on if there's a sentry gun. No. They're going way aggressive. They know exactly what they need to do. Sentry gun. Oh, Steven, Steven is alive, even with the rescue ranger. His ammo pack got stolen, but no, sentry gun stopping all that board, stopping all that progress. And uh, only two times on the car right now. They're uh, not putting as many people as they need to. They really need the full three times, but they also need the pressure here. The question is, what do you do? Okay, engineer finally comes forward to give it three times. But uh, we got stickies around the corner here. Pyro wave will blast them away. Soldier in the back lines, though, could go on the medic. Uh, did he get sniped? I don't see where he went. Okay, there he is. Okay, finally go finally goes down. Did not get the medic, unfortunately. Uh, they, instead, they popped forward and did an Uber. Here comes a crits though. Gets off the medic at the perfect time as soon as the crits was over. As soon as the Uber was over, getting off the heavy too. And okay, 90 seconds to the last point here. Uh, very good job, like pushing forward uh, by Bark there. Like all of a sudden, they're back in this game despite the incredible cap time uh, that they had earlier. Uh, uh, pun here, not able to link up with his team. Everyone's kind of splintering off into into flag side. Scout on scout battle happening. Uh, Dax off, decides just to steal all the health packs. Soldier on the left side, just trying to stop the push as long as possible. My goodness, uh, Bark moving forward uh, finally on this, and uh, Spy in the back, trying to uh, if he can make like in, if he can make a medic pick happen here, that's gonna seal the deal for them. There's only a minute left. He wants it. He wants it so bad. No, not quite gonna be able to get it. Tries to sap things instead. Not gonna really accomplish anything there. Don't uh, scout going forward. Uh, no backup for him though, unfortunately. We got a spy in flag room, uh, wanting to go for it. This sentry gun is really safe. It's going to be like impossible to get a demo man spam down there. But instead, we got a crit demo man coming through. Kills off the uh, the uh, snipers, and uh, he wants to get the heavy too. I imagine nice little uh, play out there. And so they get uh, three or four, but uh, Twine can go right back in with his Uber uh, with the demo man here. They could definitely vanguard around this corner here, and this is a really good corner to get stuck to to die upon. So demo man moves forward. Uh, they're instead just going to control it with the Pyro. No, uh, don't have enough support coming up from behind. Finally, the support comes through, but a lot, they lost a lot of Uber time. Soldier comes in, gets that two shot, kills off Twine. 15 seconds remaining. I'm not sure it's even possible at this point. You still have your heavy and medic alive. 10 seconds remaining. Uh, Spy on the backside, controlling the heavy. Oh, heavy v heavy fight. Heavy wins out. Gets the medic too. Spy got a sap shit through two seconds remaining, but I don't think it's enough time. Oh, ouch. SSB uh, barely holding on there. You know, if Bark had started that round, I think it could have been better off for them. But instead, uh, SSB made an incredible rolling round there, and uh, they make it to an end. Guys, don't cut the feed to yourself when you're trying to talk about how great the second match was, because that was a really impressive second match from both teams, but particularly SSB, who take it to the ace match. Bark gets to redo the attack again, and uh, SSB has to defend again. Uh, the first time they defended, they uh, had a reasonably low time, but actually it turned out to be the longest hold. Uh, well, second longest hold uh, in the so far in the game. They held out for like a good, what was it, 9:47 I think. And then the and then during the second round, uh, both teams ca uh, captured in like 4:24. Even even though uh, Bark lost out, they didn't capture the fourth point. They were so close to capturing. They could have made it like a five six minute cap, no problem. Both teams just rolling over the second and third point, showing they know exactly how to control it. And hey, new meta man, like maybe. Second point is just terrible to hold. Maybe third point can be very difficult if you don't have everything set up with your stars aligned there. Maybe it just all comes down to that last point hold. We'll, we'll have to see. But uh, for now, everyone will be playing for the first point. This is uh, exactly what SSB did last round. So we'll see. Uh, they have everyone set up here. Heavy running Fist of Steel. I like this for defense. Because um, you don't really need to run around a lot of places and go really fast. Uh, but it's nice to keep everything alive and losing two immediately one to a snipes and one to some sticky spam out there But that won't be too bad for them. We'll just delay things a little bit. The demo man's not jumping this time Instead the combo's going below. There's a spy back here, too. He could make a pick up. 
No, he gets caught out by the enemy spot who's some who's for some reason down here with them. And we got four in the oop. We got four in the tunnel, and I need to stop zooming around the map, man. Let's uh, just go on a cam here. Starting in the back, but I, I don't think they know about tunnel yet. It's dead moving forward. Uh, wanting to make a, a wanting to like drop on this in, on the cart or something. I'd say he'll just clean up the trike on the back end. Dill man out of four, but he catches him out. Uh, Scott on his on his butt too, but uh, he's gonna go down too. And during all of that, I think an Uber came through and uh, cleaned up on Twide and the rest of the combo here. So good defense coming out from uh from SSB here. I think the first uh, first rounds of engagement definitely went their way. Pun at about a 60. Ooh, they're even gonna use the conk here. Oh, this is a little early. You can actually hold down the button to keep the conk going until like you actually have an engagement go forward. And uh, this conk should, in a direct engagement, shouldn't let them win the win the round. Uh, looks like that's not what's happening though. They, they traded a heavy, and okay, the track goes down and ooh, gets spammed out. He was having a soldier on his butt, but not able to escape the sticky spam as well. So, pun going down, and uh, wow, that's a lot of people. That's like seven down for them, and only really a heavy and an engineer, but the spy took the teleporter forward here. Frog moving way forward here. I'm not sure this is a pretty bad idea for him, I think. Uh, Game Master even just setting up for the third point, saying, hey, second point went so bad for us last round, I want to have this level three ready to go. And, uh, you know, they held the first point for very well. It seems very odd that they're just going to give up the second for it. So, hmm. Oxy, uh, just sitting back. Everyone is moving forward, I'll grant you that. It's going to be hard to stop this push, but uh, Oxy really wants that sniper or the, or the medic. Getting spammed out, though. He should be able to retreat to the safety of his sentry gun, and there it goes. They do have a, a forward area, though. They, they, have, they do have the forward spawn for the moment, and uh, 140, not, not, you know, not being a bad time for the first point. 206, still not a bad time for two points. It's really going to come down to this third point here that uh, SSB is putting all their eggs in. Uh, the basket for nice little ape ambi shot there what's your deal oh he should be at the teleporter too that's pretty huge uh not having a teleporter for the third point here for a while uh really hurts you makes uh makes your lock your walk is really long and a lot of people uh dying for bark in the back end losing twine and little roman again whole combo is down and they're gonna have to walk it this time so it's gonna be very like look at how spread blue team is right now we got one in front one near the cart one just coming up another one coming behind him Two all the way in the back, a third one jumping up to catch to them. And they're just really, really, really spread right now. And uh, they just can't engage until they get everyone up here. Uh, essentially meaning that your uh, slowest people are there. Now they finally get the teleporter up. It's, I like this spot, it's really aggressive. And uh, most teams are pretty crazy to move past this uh, this house right here. So should be able to should be able to stay up. Sentry Gun hasn't moved into the conservative nice spot here. Nice little rotation from Rental here. Shrike uh, pushing the card from below. Taking his inevitable spam. He's got to make sure the sniper can't make a play happen. So he's putting down the spam to make sure he can't do anything. Speedo Simone coming up. Phone, you know, it'd be nice to get the sniper here. Doesn't get the ambi shot though. If he got the ambi shot, that would have been Oxy's death. Instead, he just backs out, sits in the sits in the in the spy hidey spot. You go for a soldier or something, but no, a crits comes forward instead, and the heavy's in the back end uh, just to stop him. Really good play, and uh, ooh, going down to some flanking play out here. So. The Dillman not able to quite make what he wants to have happen, but uh, they still get the medic anyway, so good trade out, I think. I think that definitely favors the uh, defending team, not having your, your medic up. Scout trying to push forward, but you still have your, your sentry gun here ready to go. There's only three up right now, though. Uh, you know, with the teleporter, uh, Bark should be able to put down more natural pressure, I think. Uh, Dillman spam comes through, though, stops the car from moving forward, but it's very close now. They have to hold it and have it go back down the hill, I think, would be really nice for them right now. We'll see if they're able to get that. Doman just spamming the left uh, the left choke point right now. Scout on the right side. Just poking out. Uh, medic. Oh, he just he's still in the house? Okay. His uh, glow effect went offline for me for some reason. Uh, Twine at only 10%, though. Both uh, both medics uh, not having Ubers at all ready to go. Oh, another pipe play coming through. And the scout uh, vanguarding through, trying to do a cleanup. He gets the Doman. Scout for Doman. He's uh, definitely worth the trade. So very big advantage coming out here. And he switched back to Ubers, so... Having that nice uber advantage will be nice out here. Crits is nice, but crits is kind of hard to use on the third point because uh, it's hard to it's hard to keep a pin. Well, it's kind of easy to keep a pinpoint on them because uh, the choke points are very far apart from each other. But uh, if you move past here, you've got this all this big area right here. Now, a nice uh, long range stick can do a lot, but uh, let's go after the sniper. Let's see if he can make a play happen here. Now, a soldier comes forward instead. He's totally out of position, so he's gonna go down. What's your deal? Just wants to get back out, feeling hey, I'm pretty low. Let me just go get some health. Going real far back for it too, actually. 
Dome End spam coming through again. They can they get off the other Dome End. Now they're going to be able to control the house here. And oh, another long range stick play from Huli here, making the making the plays, saving the saving this third point defense and like making the core of it come out from him. So MVP of this round, definitely Huli for sure. This has uh, now become like a good mm, five six minute hold for sure. And it depends on if how well the uh, depends on how well the spawns go out uh, here. But uh, they might be able to do a good fourth point hold as well. We'll have to find out, but so far, third point hold successful, and they set up for it, and it paid off for them, so good job, SSB, sticking to your plan and making it happen. Yeah, I really like like the differing strategies that they decided to run. Gets out Twine, too. Oxy gets that snipe. Another medic pick going down. That's like the fifth or sixth time uh, Twine has dropped this round. I mean, it's just unfortunate, man. Uh, it really puts you far behind. Pun is at like 70% 70, 70 advantage. He should be at like a super uber advantage once things get going. Well, it doesn't look like it will be a full super uber advantage, but he will have uber way before Twine will. They can just hold here, really. Try for another medic pick. Uh, they'll have lots of time to do it. And another minute goes by, and no more progress has been made. In fact, oop, I hate it when I switch off of, of, of snipers who are sniping down the line. Should we really get this? Uh, oh, no, Soldier comes forward, tries to stop him. Disrupting the sniper has primarily been SSB's play so far, or Star Knight's play so far. So, and it's worked out fairly well. He tried to go in for a medic bomb, but medic was behind this corner here, not able to find him. Spy is uh, looking like he's sneaking around. Oh, he gets caught up by the demo man here. I think he's totally dead. Oh, he gets off DRP with an ambi shot. That's crazy. Making the most of a bad situation. And uh, yeah, they don't want to pop yet. Twine just now getting his Uber. They want to have a, They want to force out a pop, force them to engage onto their Uber. And this has just bought them a ton of time. Here comes the pop, and then the immediate counter pop comes right out. Demo man, uh, putting down the sticks. Uh, does finally lose the the sentry gun. So no sentry gun for a while. But uh, you lost two in the process. If a nobody went down. Okay, spy finally goes down. And uh, dead, just dead destruction as well going down. Frog still alive. Still got this nice angle. Ooh, taking out Game Master though. Uh, or Rental, or whatever his name is, uh, the engineer, and uh, your medic's still up, but there's only three up right now. It's time to leave, I say. Medic just needs to get out of here uh, immediately. But he could, okay, sees the point goes down, and he's got to run the long way, and he could get chased down by the scout here. Oh, I think he's so dead. Yeah, Pyro comes forward, controls him out. Ouch. Pun just needed to leave a few seconds earlier there. He really couldn't afford that loss, that death there. Now, they did have a really good hold there. That was a four minute hold on the third point. Oh, getting out little Roan with a nice little snipe there. Ambi shots coming out for what your deal are incredible. It's really good. When you're able to make them, you know, that extra 100 burst DPS just goes so far for you in these high level games. Twine, though, gonna have a really big uber advantage coming up here. They're able to push around Death Corner. Uh, no problem. Spam comes through, but they're able to avoid all of it, so. Moving down the basin now, uh, Sentry Gun's a really safe spot, but uh, here comes the Uber through. Uh, Pyro buys a few seconds of time. I don't think there's going to be enough stickies to control it out, and uh, they want to get the demo man. Oh, they really want the medic. Uh, force him outside, force him outside. Oh, dying to a melee shot there, and my goodness, seven people going down. A lot of people threw them themselves uh, to keep the Sentry Gun alive. The engineer just wasn't able to keep it up, and that's going to be a very nice final push in for them. 856. Not as bad as, as you would leave it to believe. 56, about an average time. Um, you know, if if SSB was also able to hold the second point a little bit, that could have been a, a much, much uh, longer defense for them. But instead they took for the third point, and the fourth point just didn't work out for them. Uh, they didn't have the Uber. Pun just didn't run. He didn't leave fast enough, I thought. I thought if he had, like, as soon as the sentry gun went down, I thought that was a good time to leave, I thought. He's building... Okay, it's... Rental uh, building right back to the second point here. So, and everyone's dying up here, so this is kind of silly. I don't know. There's like some sort of like. There's definitely a mismanagement problem here. Or no, no, he's just building a teleporter and dispenser, and he'll build a sentry gun forward. Is this what happened last time? Yeah, I bet that's what happened last time. They had the teleporter for the second point so that they could easily do a good roof defense. Okay, well, I take back what I said last round about, you know, being late to the party. Uh, if that's what he was doing then it's very different and interesting and in yeah the, the dispenser does help you out a lot here but Five, having a second four, point defense can certainly three, be a lot better you just can't get rolled over after the one, second point defense like they did last time it's just really hard you can't you can't just like get wiped 
during a point cap. They, the blue team needs to capture the point, but they, they don't they don't need to kill people to do it, basically. You don't need to throw all your lives away to defend to defend one point, I think. Uh, you have to make every point you have to make every uh, attack last for you. Everyone instead going below uh, in tunnel. Uh, Medic hasn't revealed yet. Demo man goes forward, not able to make the pickoff happen this time. So this sentry gun's gonna be able to stop any kind of play uh, below the tunnel here. You know, if everybody if everybody sets up a sentry gun right here, and then the demo man does the bomb, people should really consider putting like the sentry gun here or something. I don't know. There needs to be a little bit of a meta about the sentry gun placement because it's always either like here, it's somewhere on this cliff side every time. Huli not making the bomb happen again, but also not uh, forcing Twine to also not forcing Twine to pop. So, so far, Bark is uh, staying alive, uh, being ready for those uh, demo man bombs much better this time. Spy comes behind. Pyro's all like, hey, I see it. I'm not gonna let that happen. Engineer way out of position here. I think he's in the back. Yeah, he's in the back getting set up for the second point now. They're willing to give it up. One point, def one point minute defense there, and they're ready to leave. They see the Uber come forward, and uh, they're just gonna throw some bodies at it. And Medic really doesn't want to give anything up quite yet. Is he gonna pop? He does pop, so everyone's really spread right now for Blue Team, and uh, this could give them the time they need to make a few picks happen. Doman now uh, splintered off onto the point. He does put down the nice spam, though, so he will be... Uh, We'll be able to capture this point. That is about a what? You know, it was actually like a good minute and a half of cap time there, so about an average. The difference is that you have like a nice level three teleporter in the backside here. I wonder if they know this. Uh, only the scout pushing the point, and yeah, they will. Uh, the heavy demo pyro, all the medic, all the combo, plus the soldier in the back here. Uh, looks like he's baiting uh, the scout out and bait successful. Uh, spam comes through on the top. Medic doing some med pyro, doing his best to try and air blast in the back, but. Uh, those uh, upward uh, sticks really hard to deal with. Heavy trying to get a play happen here, and he doesn't he doesn't pick off Pun quite yet. Soldier tries to bomb for ooh nice little reflect there, but it's not going to be enough I think. Uh, Pyro comes forward, not able to make anything happen, but they do clean up here. So yeah, this second point defense I just don't think it's paying off in the way they want it to. I think they could have held out the first point for another 30 seconds or so, and then maybe set up for a half second point defense because like even with the full defense here uh, they just get uh, they got pulled over for sure. Two, two points for two minutes. Let's see if uh, if Rental is already setting up. Okay, he got out. He's already setting up for the third point here. So far, you know, it's a very even game. This can definitely go either way. Um, both teams still have Ubers. Uh, and, uh, you know, Red Team's kind of doing what they wanted to. They need to force out an Uber from Blue again, though. Uh, SSB needs to get, pop get popped on. So, that, really, that would really give them the advantage they need right now. Oh, Engineer getting stabbed and uh, stabbed in the back, so no sentry gun to worry about. Blue pops in and oh, Manic trying to escape from below. You can't escape from below, not against a team like this. That's only three people up, two people up, one person up with three more coming up. Only the engineer up right now. Whole, like aggression averted. Even though they took the sentry gun, uh, that play was almost not even worth it. Now I can't believe they lost so many people. I guess they popped a little bit too early, or uh, they didn't have. They didn't have people pushing from both directions. They could have had like the medic heavy this way, and then maybe the demo man going forward with maybe a scout to like back them up or something. Something like that could have worked well. Uh, DRP going down to a scout play, but nothing super bad. Instead, uh, you know, actually, Pun's actually not that far behind an Uber charge, only about 10%, which it could be a lot worse for him right now. Pyro giving killing uh, the heavy's position, but the heavy runs right into the medic and or the scout and uh, cleans up on him. Demo Man uh, getting uh, flanked out by the Heavy, but he's alright. Oh, he's even like just ducking to stay alive. Pun going down and all that craziness. I believe it was to, it was, yeah, it was to a stab from Phone. So Phone finally coming through for his team here. Twine gonna have a super uber advantage coming out here. And uh, the defense, the defense is happening for Bark here. You know, they don't even have to, oh, uh, Demo Man's got, the Soldier's got a really good angle. Didn't build the Sentry Gun in the right spot and uh, gets an ambi shot on the, on the scout. And you know, despite everything, Forces a pop out of red here, so coming back, coming back from behind here. 4:30 left on the clock. This is definitely a winnable game for SSB here. They're finally able to push it forward. In fact, I'm surprised they don't, they didn't have Uber advantage. Uh, they forced a pop out from the from the red team. It's just really good positioning with this uh, spy and soldier working together to take out that engineer gun and everyone else converging on players, forcing out a pop. Then they got a little bit over aggressive and then they uh, paid for it. Uh, pun gonna now they're now they're uh, it's their turn to get aggressive here. They got a heavy uh, watch on the left platform side. Uh, medic uh, gonna take some spam here, but I think he's gonna be all right unless a sniper picks him off or something. 
Uh, he, he will be just fine. Heavy, uh, really far forward, trying to get off the medic, but instead he's going to go down to some spam. Three on uh, six on seven right now. Here comes the pop. They got the pop off finally. Twine putting down the spam. Wants the medic, not able to find him. Uh, they get off the sentry gun. Uh, oh, so only the medic demo uh, up right now. Nice uh, cleanup from the spy and the soldier on the back end. Pushing the cart forward. 3.30 left. You know, wow, I think pushing through on the here. No one's, oh, losing your medic though. Uh, only two up. Medics, medics are down for both sides. Spy coming through. Oh, it gets the MB shot. You heard the, the did you hear the, did you hear the electrical ding? That was the ambi shot. And my goodness, that could be it. Because of an ambi shot, SSB wins the round. Crazy. GG's all around. What phenomenal play from SSB there. I was TurboCop, and I will see you guys next time.